As always, I'm sending peace, blessings, and abundance to you, my loves. Um, this video, as I talked about in the last video, I wanted to talk about uh, briefly when you keep seeing your birthday, what does that mean? Um, because I talked about how my, myself and my nephew were discussing how recently we start seeing our birthday uh, a lot. And that was the a.m. and the p.m. Like my, um, I was born on 1126, so you're seeing the month and the day, basically. So um, I'm seeing the month 11, which is November, and the day 26. So I was very curious as to why I was seeing it. He actually did some research, and he uh, found something that resonated with him. And that is the third one that I have on here. Uh, however, um... There's one that I know that resonated with me, so I'm going to give you that one. And actually, one and two kind of resonate with me. And I'm also going to talk about uh, the spiritual significance of the hummingbird. That's a little bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in this video only, even though they're not really related. It's just uh, about following the signs. And so since we're this is actually a video about signs and about your birthday or seeing that on a clock or... Or seeing it on a licensed um, plate or seeing it on a receipt. Um, yeah, so, or, you know, um, seeing it um, in your dreams or whatever. So, I'm going to talk about what that means. And then, again, get into the spiritual significance of, a humming, of the hummingbird. Because in my last video, I also expressed how I had two encounters with um, two different hummingbirds. And so, I want to talk about what that means in case you have ran into some beautiful hummingbirds. They're really beautiful um, birds, by the way. So, like I said, I found a couple of reasons that resonated with my soul. I'll start with number one, which I did feel as well. So, when you keep seeing the numbers of your own birthday in multiple places, it's likely a, remind, a reminder from your angels to focus on being true to who you really are. Seeing your birthday um, is uh, beings basically guiding you or your angel beings guiding you to focus on your authentic soul purpose and life and life's mission. You are born on earth at the exact right time, at the exact right place on the planet, to the right parents, the right challenges, and the right personality traits to be 100% uniquely you. And that actually just reminded me of, like, I think this might not be the exact quote, but it basically says, be yourself, everybody else is taken. So, you know what I'm saying? You are unique in who you are. Be yourself, love yourself. And that actually resonated with me because uh, that was something I used to struggle with in, in my childhood was um, people feeling like people won't like you for who you truly are. So the angels are reminding you to not try to fit in, compare or judge yourself against anyone else, which another thing I had to do not to compare myself to anybody else on the spiritual journey, not to compare myself to anybody else's YouTube channel because I am who I am. You know what I'm saying? And I'm good with who I am. That is what um, I've been elevating to this month actually with going through the things I was going through. You are beautifully, beautifully unique. And by showing you your birth date, your angels are usually either prompting you to take actions in alignment with who you really are or to act as a sort of validation that you are loved and your unique gifts, light and life, light and life purpose are needed. Live in alignment with the truth of who you really are. Um, and the reason why this makes sense to me is because when you think of your birth date, it is your sun sign and it's the date that you ascended onto this plane and... Um, when you think of your sun sign, you think of the number one, you think of self. So it it felt like it's like a, a wake up call to me uh, to tell me to be myself and to, you know, not care about what anybody else thinks about who I am. Be myself, number one, and the sun being about self and, and truly in your first house as well, being about self. OK, the second thing um, I found is when you see the numbers of your date of birth repeating to you. It is an indication that you are to concentrate and focus upon pursuing your true life purpose, your reason for being, your soul mission. Seeing your own birthday is a reminder of why you were born and your reason for being on the earth plane at this time. So it's reminding you that you need to fulfill your soul purpose. So if you haven't started walk, walking in your soul purpose, you need to fulfill it. I actually um, was resonated with number one because, again, I was starting to feel away. 
about some things and I need to remind myself that I am unique and um, that's what I feel the universe was telling me and the third thing which is what uh, my nephew uh, resonated with is an ancestor a loved one that transcended is letting you know that they are safe and they're watching over you and that really could have been the case with me as well because my mother transcended uh, back in 2000 and um, sheesh it's been a really long time 2009 so um when you think about when you think about that um if i think about it that way you know then yeah that could have been uh, a message as well however what resonated with me is because i was having self-doubt about myself and thinking okay well other people are doing this then we'll, you know it's almost like what do you, why do you need to do it as so many others but then why do you have a mcdonald's and a burger king and a wendy's and a five guys and an in and out burger and all, why do you have all these other burger joints then if everybody had if uh, if the owners of those restaurants had thought that way then they never would have had their own restaurant so it's just remembering that you are uniquely who you are if you want to start a youtube channel if you want to uh, open up your own restaurant a piece of restaurant or whatever it is go ahead and do it don't worry about what the other person is doing focus on you because if that's your sole purpose and sole mission to do so then do it okay now I'm going to jump into the spiritual significance of the hummingbird because like I said, I had two experiences. I had one experience in July and that was when I was staying at this Airbnb, uh, that one that I kept going back to where I was sitting on her porch and she has a really big, lovely porch and I actually recorded some videos out there and I was getting ready to meditate and a hummingbird that literally flew in my path as small as most beautiful bird and the wings like the noise that the, the sound the wings makes is magical like you you feel the vibrations like it's, it's, it's beautiful for it to be such a small bird and it hovered there for a few seconds literally just in front of my face just hovering and the set that was in july so over a month ago the next experience is in the place i'm staying in now i was again outdoors of course and i was um on the back porch or patio and I was getting ready to met I had actually started meditating and I something told me to open my eyes I open my eyes and what flies near me is a hummingbird and does the same thing just hovers there for a little bit and so that made me really the first time I was like oh I need to find out what this means and I started looking and I wasn't feeling anything so then I you know started meditating and uh, just sticking to my meditation or whatever. And then when it happened a second time, I, uh, which was last week, I actually was able to find something that resonated with me. And because I knew it had something to do with being a good thing, I just wasn't for sure exactly what it meant. So um, basically in Native American cultures, hummingbirds have been portrayed as being healers, light bringers, and helpers from spirit who carry luck, joy, and love to those they encounter. And with me being a light worker and an empath and though uh, having that type of, even though I hate labels, having that type of, um, having those types of spiritual gifts or spiritual purposes or purpose, that really like touched me because they're light bringers and healers and I am a healer and a light bringer I I yeah so it was beautiful knowing that you know that's an, an ancestor uh, in, in a hummingbird you know so hummingbird symbolism hummingbirds are among the smallest of all birds they're incredible um, aerobatic and can fly up um, fly up they can fly down they can fly backwards they can basically change direction in any instant and they do it effortlessly effortlessly they shift from full speed to practically standing still in the blink of an eye and that's exactly what they did it was like zooming and boom just stopped perfect precision you know um this is in part because of how light lightweight they are with some hummingbirds they weigh um no more than a penny that is like amazing to me all right so what this is is this reminds us of the power of adaptability being willing to step back and observe and look at things from new perspectives and then quickly shift into action as needed. So this is basically not being stuck in that one perspective and seeing things. This is being able to be, um, that's why you have to be open to everything in the universe and don't think you 
don't ever think you know everything because once you start thinking you know everything then you don't know anything <laughs> you know what i'm saying so yeah being open to new perspectives and to look at things in new perspectives their physical lightness is also a beautiful reminder for us to lighten up if we let ourselves release the weight of doubt fear and worry it says like the hummingbirds our spirits can begin to hover and soar as we follow our path of joy so Again, what me, I was getting to a point where I was being uh, starting to overthink things a little bit. So it makes sense that the that that their lightness would signify releasing the weight. Because I talked about that before. You don't want to carry a whole bunch of baggage and a whole bunch of weight because it weighs you down to the bottom of the ocean. Okay, you don't want to do that. Hummingbirds are the only bird that has the ability to, the ability to hover for long periods of time. And um, the way that hummingbirds hover is very symbolic in itself because they move their wings in a figure eight pattern, a symbol of infinity. When I saw that part, I literally almost teared up because I was born on the 26th day to number eight, which the number eight turned horizontally is the infinity symbol. So, yeah, that, what, yeah that's beautiful to me. So in this, the hummingbird has a special way of teaching us to move beyond time to heal what has happened in the past and to fully center our presence and awareness in the moment that is now. Remember, I told you guys in the last video, I've been working on healing myself and letting go of past um, experiences and looking at those past experiences as truly as a gift. Um, um, as a gift because it taught me the lessons that I needed to learn in order to get to the point that I am now. And um, look at the hummingbirds telling me the same thing. So hummingbird spiritual meaning. Uh, another incredibly symbolic characteristic of the hummingbird is that they drink the nectar of flowers. As a result, they're always searching for the sweetness of life and teaching us to do the same through their example. Which means looking on the brighter side of things. Uh, we've been trained and indoctrinated to uh, and programmed to always think about the negative things and always complain about things and always live on a pessimistic side versus on the optimistic side. And so the hummingbird is an example of that. Live, that's, a, that's what I talked about in my last video of how we're supposed to be, you know, the light and lead other people into that light that's what the hummingbird is doing for us if you've actually had that experience and i really feel truly blessed to have had that is um two experiences with the hummingbird um so with their long narrow beaks and even longer tongues hummingbirds can get past the tough bitter exteriors of plants to fully dive into the sweetness within the nectar of life is um one of the ultimate symbols for joy Hummingbirds represent just that, living a life filled with joy, light, and sweetness as they hover from flower to flower. They're fully present in the moment, completely following the path of joy. If you've ever heard the soft hum of a hummingbird's wings, you'll notice that it too is quite distinct, which it very much is. This hum is said to carry healing, light, and magical energy, which hummingbirds have a way of bringing to us on a number of levels. And... I can attest to just how the wings sound, like the, the, the sound that they make. And with them being such light beings, the sound is, is, you know, magnified to me. So it is very magical that something so small that the sound could be uh, so magnified or, you know. And, and pleasing to the ears, too. Like, it's, it's amazing. So um, hummingbirds carrying, uh, also carry messages from angels. So in addition to the beautiful guidance we receive directly from hummingbirds by looking at their symbolic meaning or tuning into their healing light and presence of love, quite often angels and loved ones in spirit choose hummingbirds to relay their messages. They may guide hummingbirds to hum by to validate their spiritual presence and to send us signs and reminders to follow our joy, stand in light and stay um, present in the moment. So your loved ones in, in the spiritual realm may choose a hummingbird to enter your space as validation and assurance that they are well and their soul lives on. So, yeah, I, like I said, I wanted to make sure that I talked about the sign of the hummingbird, of me seeing the hummingbird and some things that, that it um, possibly meant. However, I definitely know that it was telling me to, 
you know, live in, a, live in the moment and to continue to stay positive and spreading that light and energy that I needed in order to get to the point of filming this video and the previous video before that and the previous video before that because I actually had stopped filming videos and was like, you know, not really feeling it because... Um, I was like, well, shit, other people are doing it. And I was going through some things at the moment. And that's why I say that the 1126 and those hummingbirds all playing a part in, in that and keeping me inspired to do what I'm supposed to do. And, um, it's not just in doing this cause it's, it's other things that I, um, am working on and that I'm supposed to be doing as well, or that I'm meant to do as well in this life that I'm, um, now getting into so it's it's basically tuning me to the right frequency in order to fulfill those those uh aspects of my soul purpose so i definitely know that um it is a beautiful thing for me to experience both and i wanted to share that with you guys as well because you might have been experiencing some you may be experiencing some of the same things i'm going to end the video on that note i again appreciate you guys for showing love for subscribing to my channel, for watching my videos, for um, uh, tuning into my YouTube uh, channel in a way that actually makes me um, elevate in my journey. And also for checking out my Instagram page, Knowledge Butterfly, and looking at my pictures and liking those pictures. And um, just for your love frequencies and vibes that you're sending to me, guys. So again, I'm sending you love and um peace later